All right, folks, today we're taking a look at the Alpha Antenna HD FMJ Antenna. Stands for Full Metal Jacket. Let's check this bad boy out today on K5ATA Ham Radio. All right, so this is the whole thing. Comes in a bag. Um, I will go ahead and tell you, I am not sponsored by Alpha Antenna. Um, however, I did not pay for this antenna. Ray Novak donated this for the Padawans to use. Thank you, Ray, appreciate that. For an easy to deploy antenna, because, well, the school situation can be kind of hanky sometimes when uh, trying to get an antenna deployed. All right, so when you open the bag, you've got most of this antenna, or this bag rather, is taken up with a beast of a tripod. Okay, it's really easy to uh, kind of deploy. You just pop that out, pull each one of these, and the legs slide down. And it's got little feet or spikes in the, uh, the legs there. And what you can do with that is you just kind of push them with your foot down into the ground. Next, what's in this kit, okay, you have what they call the alpha match, okay. Alpha match screws onto there, although actually we want the ground wire on there. Okay, so you've got an NVIS kit also with this. Not doing that yet. And the ground wire. The ground, this has a little eyelet and a big old nail. And that dude goes right here. And you just kind of hold that wire up against there. So you got the alpha match screwed on. As far as the ground wire goes, just kind of stretch it out. Stick it in the ground, hence the word ground. For the NVIS kit, if you were going to attach it, you would just attach it on top and stretch it out. Not going to use that today. Um, I will say the NVIS kit, when you have it on there, it does give the antenna a little bit of directionality, I guess is the fancy schmancy word. So you can, like for example, if I deploy the NVIS wire going this way, then I'm slightly more directional that way. So, you know, you can kind of point it where you want it. All right, this is what they call a mill stick antenna. And this just screws right on top of here. Now remember, if you're installing the NVIS, that would go here first, and then the antenna. And I think it's 13 feet. I'll step it back so you can get a look at it. And as far as assembly and deployment, that's pretty much it. Run your coax here to the radio, which, the coax. And boom, it's in there. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of SWR measuring with that MFJ meter. Then we're gonna get this bad boy on the air and see how it does. All right, so now we're gonna measure some SWR with this MFJ 223 meter. Um, remember, it does come with a BNC. So make sure you have your adapters. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run some of this coax out. It's probably more coax than I need. And see how she does. Let's get that where we can hopefully see it. And there she goes. 
Okay, so just, I know that's hard to see a little bit, but right here is the lowest point at 1.09 to one, that's at 15 megahertz. So let's do, if I go back, I can scan single and let's just start at, let's see, 40. Seven, let's call it 7280. Okay. Oops, there you go. 2.7 to 1. At 10.2, it does 2.26 to 1. 14 to. Yeah, see on 20 meters, that dude's 1.25 to 1. Not bad. Uh, 18 megahertz? Let's see what we got. On 18.2, we got 1.35 to 1. What is it, 24 something? 1.15 to 1 on 24.2. 28. On 28.2. I don't remember what part of the band that is. It's been a minute. 1.7 to 1. Okay, so with the SWR analyzer, that's pretty impressive. I think I might throw that NVIS thing on here and see if that changes anything. Just because I can. This dude. Goes right here on top. Gets a little, little janky trying to screw a 13 foot long flexible or semi flexible pole around. All right, so let's see here. That's north. Most of the YouTubers are west. Let's hit that way. Maybe I can get one on the air. All right. So that kit's attached. Let's see if it changes anything. 1.63 to one on 10 meters. 1.68 to one on 24 megahertz. 21 megahertz, 1.36 to one. 14.2 is at 1.33 to one. 10.2, it's at 1.53 to 1. 7.2 megahertz is at 2.37. All right. Turn it on. Let's see if we can find somebody. Simple. <laughs> and I don't know if you, you know, back in with Windows XP or some of the older Windows, you there could you go, do talking about some windows. So is that yours at Whiskey 3, Juliet Papa Hotel? I'm sorry, I got a big pile up here. Um, two is at W3JPH. Alright, so I took the NVIS kit off. Just cause. Kilo 5 Alpha Tango Alpha. Again, November Alpha Zero Echo Delta 5 9 QSL. Thank you, I saw your 5 Grand Southern Colorado. Thanks for the park. Uh, you're very welcome. Thanks for making my log tonight. 73. QSL Whiskey 3 Juliet Papa Hotel. Kilo 5 Alpha Tango Alpha. Got the Kilo 5 Alpha Tango Alpha 5-9 QSL. QSL, I copy 5-9. You were 5-9 as well into Mississippi, 7-3. Copy the 5-9 into Mike Sierra, uh, 73 for the contact. Have a great day. There you go. There's one. 
Of course, I threw him a 5.9, didn't even look at the thing. He's so clear on this, but really, he was probably a 5.2, but, yeah, he's barely tinking the estimate. Let's go see if we can find somebody else here. I'll have to log that later. Unfortunately, I got it taped or recorded. We don't tape anymore. You're five and seven, fifty-seven, over. Yeah, QSL to five and eight. You're five, five and seven, fifty-seven. QSL. Okay, thank you. Seventy-three. Whiskey four, Lima. Papa, Alpha Kilo Alpha four. Okay, Dave in Central Florida, you're five and eight with me. Five and eight, over. Seventy-three, you stay safe. QZ, Victoria Papa two, Echo Kilo Golf. Kilo five, Alpha Tango Alpha. Yeah, yeah. Who's the Kilo five? It's Kilo five, Alpha Tango Alpha. I have you fifty-eight five eight into Mississippi. Yeah, okay, good to hear from Mississippi. Got you here 5 and 8 as well. Good signal. K588. 5, 5 and 8 into the island of Anguilla. Over. All right, I appreciate that. I'm actually just te testing out a new alpha antenna I use for my kids at school for a video on YouTube. So I appreciate you getting my call. 7 3. All right, so. Okay, Don, you take care, man. All the best to you and the family. Stay safe. Got him in the Caribbean. Not bad. Let's see if we can find somebody else. Here's the antenna deployed. It's got a little lean to it, but it's on a hill. I tried to. You can actually adjust those legs really easily. Lima Delta Sierra. Whiskey 4, Lima Delta Sierra. 5 and 8. Nice signal. QSL 5 and 9 in West Palm Beach, Florida. QSL. Kilo Bravo 9, Lima Delta Sierra. I have you 59. I have you 59. Into Mississippi. Into Mississippi. Let go. Okay, very good, Kate. Well, thanks for uh, picking me up. Uh, my name is Chris Charlie Hotel Leo India Sierra. My name is Chris. My location is northern Wisconsin, oh, about 75 miles north of uh, Green Bay. I have you about 57. Signal report 57. QFL. Someone else there. Uh, same at the same place. Uh, our contact is 1822 miles. East. 1,822 miles. I'm in the San Francisco Bay Area. Over. Yeah. Wow, that's a while away. This is the first person I talked to on ham radio. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, you guys are doing a great job. You can log him again. Uh, I'll listen for other callers on your station there, and uh, hopefully other people will, will find you guys. You have a great day. 73, you keep the QS quite clear. Say 73, have a great day. Say 73, have a great day. 73, have a great day. All right, so made a few contacts this evening. Uh, the Padawans made some contacts with it. In fact, when I first hooked this thing up in the, at, well, it was outside of the classroom. The radio was inside the classroom. Um, started tuning around, just getting things ready for the Padawans to get on the air for the first time during the school club roundup. Um, I immediately contacted North Dakota. Didn't get that on film because I was busy setting stuff up. I don't know if you've talked to anybody in North Dakota lately, but I think there are only like 12 people that live there and seven hams, okay? Um, it took me forever to get North Dakota. In fact, I ended up getting North Dakota for my worked all states on FT8. And I got a guy on voice on there with the Padawans with this antenna and radio. We worked um, Chuck, KK6USY. I'll put that clip in there. I, already, I put that clip in here um, in San Francisco or near San Francisco. Got a fella in Maine. Um, got Steve, Cam 9G in Wisconsin. So as far as the antenna goes, I gotta say, I'm impressed. So um, this is gonna be definitely the, the solution for the Padawans and um, definitely a solution for POTA work too, because this is nice. I can put it in the new camper um, and take it with me. So that's that. Um, I'll put a link to the Alpha Antenna website in the description below. Um, like I said, not sponsored by Alpha at all. Ray, another shout out to you. Thank you for your donation to the Padawans. It is much appreciated. And that's it. 7-3. Hope to see you all on the air.